Do you love this game? No. Is there a newborn kitten purring in here right now? I couldn't hear you. Do you want to be in the NBA? I don't even play basketball. Hi guys, welcome to Eva channel. Here you will find everything you need to learn English. And today we will learn some sports phrases and vocabulary with Adam Sandler. A new movie with Adam Sandler has been released, Hustle. It's a great sports drama and a bit of Adam Sandler's humor. And you would ask, why is it called like this? Hustle, is it another part of Oceans? No. You know, all these movies you like about bank robbery with some twisted plot. Well, this one is different. It doesn't have anything to do with bank robberies, museum robberies, or any kind of robberies. It's a movie about basketball and NBA. What is NBA? National Basketball Association. So why is the movie called Hustle then? Hustle also means to push roughly. So this movie is a little bit about pushing, achieving, you know, sports, but it still can mean fraud here because Adam Sandler's character is trying to squeeze this young sportsman into NBA and cheating just a little bit. Well, no spoilers, watch it, enjoy it. And for now, let's just learn. Let's just talk a little bit about the difference between a coach and a scout. Basketball scout. Thank you. It's like I've been waiting my whole life to become a coach. Well, a coach is somebody who organizes the team and prepares them for the game. While a scout is someone who looks for new players. Thank you. It's like I've been waiting my whole life to become a coach. So in this movie, Adam Sandler is a scout who dreams of becoming a coach. Coach and scout can be used as verbs. But now that I'm coaching... I'm coaching, I'm scouting. If he is a coach, he coaches. If he is a scout, he scouts. I'm genius. You're valuable as a coach. You're indispensable as a scout. So he's saying you are valuable as a coach. It means that you're doing a great job as a coach. We like how you do your job. You are valuable. But we want you more as a scout. Indispensable means that you can't be replaced. Well, that sounds like bad news for Adam Sandler's character. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. Court? Are we watching Law and Order or something? No. So court or courtroom, a place where teams play basketball. Do you have friends who like sports and English? Well, send this video to them. Sharing is caring. Post it on Facebook. What are you waiting for? They're better off when he's on the bench. Well, bench is this part of the court where substitute players are sitting and waiting for their turn to play. I heard you're moving to the bench. So when Adam Sandler's character is on the bench, it means that he has become a coach. He was a scout, was not on the bench, he was not in court, but now he will coach the team. It means that he will be on the bench. Oh, that's how you take it to the rim. So a rim is this part. It's a ring and you throw a basketball through it. A rim. A rim. Sorry, this is not really a basketball, but that's all I had, so... You've seen it pass before? I've never seen this guy pass. To pass the ball means to throw it to another player. Whoop! He's quick. Can you shoot? He can shoot. And to shoot the ball means to throw it towards the rim. Shoot. Score. Yes. He's quick. He can shoot. He can shoot. Can he shoot? 
is the most important question in basketball. Can he shoot? Because this is how you score. And they scored a couple times. Score means to get points. When you shoot the ball through the rim, you score. Your team gets points. The combines in six weeks. Combine is the assessment of players. Players are measured, they take medical tests, they are interviewed, and they show their best game, their A game. Combines in a month and a half. So that is a combine. Dr. J is still dunking when he was 63. To dunk means to shoot the ball through the basket when your hands are above the rim, like this. This is dunk, dunking. Dunking. Dr. J still dunking when he was 63. Usually jump and dunk. But just look at the hops on that guy. When they talk about hops in basketball, they mean how high you can jump to score. Hop, hop. Never back down. To back down means to give up. If you want to speak English fluently, never back down. Keep learning. You can do this. But Never back down. By the way, you know how you can practice all this vocabulary? You like learning English with movies, don't you? Check out our English learning app, Iwa English. You'll find so many lessons based on movies there. Your favorite movie characters will teach you English. Check it out, the link is in the description. Is there a place around here I can shoot some hoop? Shoot some hoop means play basketball. Shoot some hoop. Is there a place around here I can shoot some hoop? It's a slang expression, you know. I want to shoot some hoop. Go on down there, get laced up. Get laced up means to put on some sports clothes or shoes. I guess here he means shoes because the guy is literally wearing slippers. So in the next scene, he specifies what he means. Get some sneakers on. Be careful. Get some sneakers on. Because it's hard to play basketball wearing slippers. I see. Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Please tell me. Use that. Get physical with them. Get physical means use your physical force against something. Use that. Get physical with them. So here, Adam Sandler gives advice to this young player to get physical with another player, means maybe to push him. He would be in the rotation right now. A rotation is basically a group of players. Some of them are playing while others are sitting on the bench. So they rotate to substitute each other. If one player is tired, you get another one from the bench to play instead of him. So that is rotation. And he would be in the rotation right now. When you say you'll be in rotation, it means that you'll basically play basketball as a part of the team. We'll get your name in the draft. Draft is a selection process. So there are teams who watch the new players, rookie players. Rookie means a newbie, fresh player who hasn't played in it with NBA yet and they watch them play and they decide, hmm, well, this one is good. I wanna take him. And that is draft. Draft usually happens every year. I think in July, am I wrong? Please write in the comments if I'm wrong that the drafts usually are in July. Do you, hear, you understand my English? Because you can't be in the draft if you're over 22, if you're from overseas. So do you have a birth certificate? You can't be in the draft if you're coming from another country and you are older than 22, over 22. I'm not drafting us. So here you see draft is used as a verb. I'm not drafting us. I'm not drafting us. Okay guys, so this was Adam Sandler with his sports vocabulary. How do you like this movie? Are you gonna watch it? Have you watched it already? Do you like Adam Sandler? Oh my God, I have so many questions. Leave a comment and I will chat with you. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to get more videos like this. Now you can watch this baking bread, baking bread video.
<laughs> no. Now you can watch this Breaking Bad video. It's awesome. You can learn some English with Mr. Walter. Check it out. Bye.